Hey everybody, it's my new video, and in this one, I'm doing some more movie reviews. Now, the first movie I'm going to review is Beyond Skyline. Now, I I watched the first Skyline. It's about an alien invasion, and the first one was alien invasion. And they kept taking humans onto their ship. But in this one, this actually gives a good look at some survivors that go against the aliens. And the aliens actually take some survivors on their ship. And a couple of them, some a couple of the alien devices actually steal, take out their brains and put them into cyborg. The cyborg machine alien things and some of the survivors try to fight out one finds a survivor in the in the ship that has a baby and the baby's born and turns into an alien and stuff like that and they keep picking people up from the ground and these survivors try to go against the aliens all the time it's cool when they're on the ship there's a lot of good good graphics like like there's a lot of good graphics, you know what I mean? Like, like special effects is like really, really good. Like they should have won an Oscar for this, you know what I mean? <laughs> for the special effects. This is all in out a great movie. And for all of you that like movies, pick up Beyond Skyline. Beyond Skyline is a good, solid movie and the second the second movie we're going to review is a movie i've been waiting my whole life to see the origins of han solo from star wars the movie is right here i got it from the library it's the origin stories of han solo in this one it actually shows how han how Han uh, met Chewie, Chewbacca, Chewie, and it shows how he got the Millennium Falcon, and his, his, ah, I forgot his name, but he, he, he ends up meeting up with, ah, man, I forgot his name, anyway, he wins the, uh, the Millennium Falcon in a card game, but the whole movie, now, in this movie, Han is hired to get some kind of plutonium stuff or whatever it is from another company, another area of the world. Then they go throughout each world. They go throughout each world, you know, and and um, there's a lot of action and sci-fi violence that's so awesome. Throughout the history of Star Wars, there have been so many Star Wars films that can actually say that they were a good Star Wars film or, or you know, some were boring, like, like there's so many, but me, myself, I have to say that Solo, a Star Wars story, is the best Star Wars of them all. I love this. For all you, I give this a 5 out of 5. No, a 10 out of 10. Solo is a good, good movie. It's really, really good. Best science fiction film I've seen in my life. And we're going to review another one. I'm going to review, if I can find it, I'm going to review the new Independence Day movie. The new Independence Day is pretty good. It's okay, you know, but um, I liked it. Like, the movie is takes place after the, the first one, Independence Day Resurgent. Takes, pla like, takes place 20 years after the first one. What I didn't like is that they didn't have Will Smith in the second one. Will Smith is, we all know, is in the first Independence Day. 
but he's not in this one. In the in the new one, Will Smith, Will Smith's uh, son in the movie, it shows him. You know what I mean? Shows Will Smith's character's son, and he's a pilot in the future, and and even on even in the new one, they live on a. Uh, they, there's people living on the moon and stuff, but what happens is they actually start trouble with the aliens again. They start trouble with the aliens again. Then the aliens keep try are trying to take over Earth again. And you see the president. You remember in the first Independence Day when the president and those were, those soldiers were were looking at the glass. After the alien took, alien killed all the other scientists, and then he grabs the head scientist and tells him, you know, makes him talk through him, and th that's what happens in the second one. I instead of a doctor being made to be an automaton voice speaker, it's the president that ends up being a speaker for the alien, and they talk about how they're going to take over the world. And there's this really cool scene where, you know Jeff Goldblum? Jeff Goldblum, who was the uh, news reporter guy from the first one? In this one, he's back. But in this one, his father, there's a cool scene where his father, after, the world, after each part of the world is being destroyed, they show his father hijacking a school bus and trying to get the school bus away from the giant alien because this alien is like super super big he's a huge alien I think I'm remembering that right and then the school bus he tries to get the school bus away from the giant alien but all in all Independence Day Re Resurgence is an okay movie it's okay you know, but, you know, I give it a 3 out of 5, you know. But, you know, it's worth watching. It's a pretty good movie, you know. It's it's worth it's worth a look, you know. 3 out of 5, that's pretty good. That's all I can give it, you know. 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5. And I will be doing more movie reviews for all of you movie fans out there. And... If you like the first Independence Day, pick up Independence Day Resurgence. Great movie. Thank you. Bye. It says eight 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 minutes and twelve seconds, eight minutes and fifteen seconds, eight minutes and seventeen seconds.